I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Surfboard. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, whichever one you are. I just did my hair, I feel cute, look at that. Beautiful, gorgeous, you look like a model, you look like Linda Evangelista, did you stone those tights? Anyway, today I thought I would react to some hate comments and do some makeup inspired by Miles J. I tweeted it to him, he liked it, so I was like, it's God, like God said that I have to do it, so I'm doing it. I'm already moisturized and primed and ready to go. So let's just dive into this. First one, is anyone else bothered by how awkward she is and how she keeps nodding to herself? A very frustrating thing about this is that people do not take into account how you are going to feel in an interview, you know, at 10 p.m. when you have been up since 4 a.m. and filming for, you know, like, you know, over 12 hours, you know, it's like 16 hours of filming and it's like, Karen, I'm tired. Like, of course I'm being a little bit, a little bit strange, you know? Who, after that long of being in front of a camera, is gonna be acting normal? No one. Please stop. I feel sorry for her. She looked uncomfortable and hurt through the entire video. Maybe there were more subtle ways to introduce new concepts into the relationship, especially after they had been together for a while. So this one in particular, I don't know why this one bothered me and I felt the need to address it. But like, first of all, these aren't like new concepts. We have been together for a very long time. We got into a relationship already very well knowing each other. I have been a very queer person for a very long time. The drag started like not very long into our relationship either. I've been doing drag for now almost six years. It kind of seems like they think that like this is like new, that this is a new thing for us that like I just started doing drag like a month ago. Like no Mary. Like, why does one side seem more coverage than the other? Like, I feel like there's more pink showing through here. This is like, this is, this is a weird ass foundation. I bet that guy in the car is his real boyfriend. The popular theory in the comments is that Jinx is actually my boyfriend. The answer is no, that's my bandmate. Very different relationship there. Not at all the same thing. Also, that would never fucking work. That would be a mess of a relationship. We'd probably kill each other. That girl needs to love herself more and leave. He seems way too into himself. Um, but yeah, I, I do love myself. You people are out. Wait, what does this say? You people are just outright sickos. Magic mirror in my hand. Who's the sickest in the land? It's me. My thing about this comment is like, do people actually talk like this? You're a sicko, Harry. Closet case and liar. If he was an asexual, he wouldn't be wearing weird underwear that highlights his manhood. They're conflating two different, very distinct, different parts of my life to each other as if they are relatable in that way. Like, Jay Ruger is a character that I play on stage. Which is like, this is one that's been like kind of interesting for me because I've kind of seen like variations of this popping up in the comment section of like if, you know, if you're asexual, why do you wear the costumes that you wear? Just because you don't wear a lot of clothing does not necessarily mean you want to have sex with everyone. Like, I don't want to have sex with people, so I should wear a burqa. They look more like friends and business partners than a married couple. We are friends, and business partners, and we're a couple. 
Isn't it crazy how those things can like all exist at the same time? Dude is obviously a homosexual slash bisexual. You can't be both, they're contradictory terms. But wants to be asexual. Their relationship seems forced. She clearly doesn't look like she's in love. I bet their relationship won't last very long. Well, we've been together since we were 19 and I'll be 26 soon, so it's lasted pretty long, I'd say. Longer than most marriages in America, so. I'm not pressed about that. I don't want to be asexual. I am an asexual. Also, there are gay asexuals. They're homoromantic asexuals. That's a thing. Can be both. Asexuality is not an exclusively hetero thing. That's so stupid. It's an LGBT thing, you obnoxious hoe. That's not bad. That's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, I get why people do this. My dog is nosing open my door right now, trying to get inside of my studio where I'm filming. Precious. What do you guys think of the, the freckles? I think it's cute. I like it. He has more makeup and more clothes than his wife. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna say this just to be very, very clear. Jay Ruger has more clothes than Megan and Jeremiah put together. In fact, I would venture to say that there's not many people who have more clothes than Jay Ruger. He's living his own life. Like honestly, this is this is like an entire room dedicated to Jay Ruger. Megan has her own studio where she does her own things, but here in this studio, it's Jay Ruger. And then we have our room together. But eyeshadow. <laughs> that is really pigmented. It's so pigmented, Harry. This is what happens when you teach your children that masculinity is toxic. Listen, Karen. I know that you really want to blame everything on feminism because reasons, but. I'm here to let you know. I'm here to make it clear, girl. Uh, no. I was actually raised in the woods, conservative, Southern Baptist. My parents really wanted me to be super masculine and stuff. It just didn't work out, girl. Sometimes people just are born different. And that happens. Deal with it. It's not feminism's fault that you're a bitch. Is it me or does the wife and husband look like they could be related? This is not really a hate comment, but I wanted to include it in because I thought it was important to include, you know. A lot of people don't realize this, but back when I used to be a drag queen, the intention of my makeup, of what I was doing, was to look like Megan. It was one of like the expressions of my drag at the time and that to me like as a drag queen what I wanted to be was pretty and so naturally what I gravitated towards was this girl who I thought was pretty and you know I was 20 years old and I was like this is what I want to do this is what I want to be this is what I want to look like and that actually led to a lot of my makeup being stylized to look like her and that's still like when I put on makeup that's still what I do because I like when I'm feminizing my face I feminize to look like her a lot of people think that it's really weird but it's just part of the journey girl sorry if that was my man out the door he slash she would go well, Karen, there's a reason I'm not your man. Because first of all, you're a bitch. That's pretty much it. Like, you're a fucking bitch, girl. Like, why would anybody want to be with you? If you do anything besides change oil and cars, stay la vie. This is why you're single, honey. This is why no one likes you. 
because you're a bitch. Extremely disgusting and evil. You should see me on Halloween, honey. Now let's take a lip while I read the very last one. She should be more supportive. It looks like she's really straining to look happy for him. Let me make this so super clear. I want this to be like abundantly apparent. Megan is the most supportive person in my life. By a long shot. And while I appreciate where the sentiment is coming from, no. I feel like I could go and like do this a little bit more even. Should I do it? Should I just go for it? Should I just like go for it? Hey, kitty girl. Well, who's the biggest sicko of them all? It's me. All right, you guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.